Hey guys, this is Zed. So, today we're going to be talking about the Digimon TCG. Um, I know we haven't talked about it. I am in, I really do like the game. Uh, I like Digimon. As you can see, I actually have my Digimon cards right here. Now, funny about these, these are the cards that survived the fire. Uh, my house fire. I need to go through them and stuff like that, but that's not for today's video. Today we're going to be talking about um, the Digimon TCG getting a ban list. Now, that's kind of interesting. And doing the research for this, um, I found out that there was already... Two cards on the ban list, or well, restricted list, because there's the restricted list and then there's the ban list. Ban list, you cannot have, this card cannot play. Restricted list, you can play one. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. Now, I was just going to talk about the cards and what I thought, but I kept diving a little farther, which is why this video took a little longer for me to get out to you guys. Because we learned this on January 14th. I wanted to know why they did this. And what I've learned makes total sense. Alright, so let's get into this. We're going to jump into the one card that is being banned. And that is Mega Digimon Fusion. And let me pull that up so I can have a reference to it. It is a white Digimon card. Um, now the white cards are different than the rest because you can play a white card in any deck. So this card is universal. What the card says is the next time on the main for Zill, you can play Zill. Next time one of your Digimon Digivolves from level 6 to 7 this turn. Reduce the memory cost of the Digimon by 6. Uh, the Digi Evolution by 6. So the cost you're paying to Digivolve it by 6. At the end of your end of the turn, return the Digimon, that Digimon, with this effect to the bottom of its owner's deck. So notice you're not even trashing it. It's just going to the bottom of your deck. Okay. Trust all Digimon. Trash all the Digi Evolution cards of that Digimon. So there's everything below it. You're really gonna have to learn the game. Um, I will leave a link down to the professor's video. He did a great job on explaining the card game. And if you know how to play, go watch it. It's a good video. Uh, this is just my opinion. He did a really awesome job and I like his content. So shout out in my video and tell, I'm just saying, man, go watch his video. It's a really good. Ask for Bufinus Mine, please. <laughs> okay, so this is the card that got banned. And the reason it got banned was because of a card that's coming out in BT7. Which is the next set that's being released February, I have all my notes, February 25th, hopefully, if no delays. Um, the next set will be released, BT7, which is called Next Adventure. And the card that made this card go banned was Saratimon and... Sorry about my pronunciations. This card is a level 7. 15 to play. Digi cost of 7. So with... Well, let me finish this and then I'll... Uh, 15 db DP. 15,000 DP. You may digivolve this card from your hand onto one of your tamers at, as if the tamer was a level 6 Digimon. By replacing ten, by placing ten tamer cards, and or cards with hybrids in their 
traits from your hand or trash to the bottom of your deck in any order. Well, I actually just didn't realize you can have take cards from your deck. I mean, your trash. And put them in your deck. Once you deck out, you lose the game. I mean, you got your security cards. Wow, that's a way of replenishing your deck. Security plus two. This Desmond checks two additional. So notice, this card is going to... I check three security cards. You only have six. So that's three. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon. When Digivolving, delete one of your opponent's Dig Digimon. This is an awesome card. Very powerful. But you do have to have the cards in your hand or in your trash to get him out. The problem is over in Japan where they had this guy before us, the meta was playing him. Now, he's a white card. And his digivolving cost is rainbow. So there's he can play in any deck, any color. You see the problem here. This is why Mega Digimon Fusion was banned. You can't have it in your deck. If you're playing tournament and store level games, if you're playing whatever, <laughs> ban list don't affect you. But that is awesome. They're not taking the Digimon out, which I thought they would. They're just taking Mega Digimon Fuse, and which I mean, you could do a lot with that. Yeah. There's some other cards, but the main one that they saw was Sorathemon. Alright, so let's jump over to the restricted list. In EX1, which is the limited... Uh, it's the exclusive set that just released uh, last Friday as of recording. So, Ice Wall. It's been reduced to one. Uh... Its effect is cost one memory. On main, all you all your opponent's Digimon gain when attacking lose two memory until the end of their next turn. That's pretty powerful because you're gonna have to pay memory now to attack, and that can get. I mean, you're not gonna want to because memories. Important in this game. It does have a security effect of when you draw from your security, you activate it, its effect, you gain two memory. So yeah, I can see it. Uh, it was slow. They were saying it was slowing down the game, stalling tactics. Yeah, straight up, I can see it. <clears throat> I don't like stall decks too much, but. If you do, you do. Hey, cool. I'm sorry, they reduced you down to one. Hey, it's better than not be being banned. Okay. So this one. Reinforcing memory boost. Yellow. Now it's the yellow one. I don't know what the other ones are called, but we'll make sure it's we're we're understanding this. Cost six memory on the main. Reveal the top two cards of your deck. Place one of them on top of your security stack face down. So as you're replenishing your security deck. Your security stack. Add the remaining card to your hand. Then place this card in your battle area. Okay, that's... I get to draw two cards. One goes to my security... Stack face down. And then I get one in my hand. So I'm paying two to replenish my security. And I am I know which one it is now. I can put a powerful Digimon or, some, or an option card or something in it. <clears throat> Main delay. Trust this card in your battle area to activate 
the effect below. You cannot activate this effect the turn this card enters play. So you got to wait next turn. But that's fine because you're going to gain three memory. And again, memory is an important uh, resource in this game. Its security effect is place this card in its owner's battle area. So you're not going to get the two cards, but you're still going to next turn get the three memory. And you're not even going to have to pay the cost. So yeah, that was restricted to one. This one I don't get as much. I mean, I do because you're going to get one more security. You're getting a card in your hand. And then next turn you're gaining three. But you're you're going to pay six memory to get all the effects. You want to pay the six to gain the security, the card in your hand, and then the three memory next turn. So you pay memory this turn to gain memory next turn. Okay. <sighs> now, Mega Digi Mega Digimon F um, Fusion, Ice Wall, and Reforcing Memory Boost Yellow. They go that they all go banned and restricted February twenty fifth. So when BT seven comes out. So as of right now, you can play your reinforcing memory boost at four. Ice Wall is an EX oh, EX one. So, as of right now, you can play it at, at four. Uh, I want it. I, I want it right now. If you're getting into the game and you're going to play this at four for, for right now, don't. Because as soon as February 25th comes around, you're going to take them out. So, just go ahead and reduce yourself to one. Uh, I forgot to mention this at the beginning. Sorry. My voice is a little hoarse right now I every year about this time I get it I get sick it's not corona it's nothing to worried about to be worried about I just get sick I don't feel good I think it has to do with the weather allergies and stuff but anyways so the two that I did not know were restricted to one they're not banned they're just restricted Hidden Potential Discovered, which is a green card, costs zero. Zero mana. So it's an option card that you can play for free. Awesome. What does it do? Main, next time one of your one of your green Digimon dissolves this turn, you may suspend one of your Digimon to reduce the memory cost of the ev Digi Evolution by five. Wow. So, most of your level 5s and 6s are about 5. So, you're going to get those for free. And Green wants to get big, powerful guys out just by suspending one of your Digimon. And you could actually suspend that Digimon that you're Digivolving. Now, Digivolving does not unsuspend, but it... Yes, still can do it. I mean, now you got your Digimon Digivolved. Its security effect is add this card to your hand. Okay. I did not know this this one was restricted. It's from BT3. Do not know the name of that one, sorry. Um Go down below, uh, right here. I'll put the name. Argomon. Yeah, I cannot say that. Play cost is 8. Digivolve cost is 3. DP is 6,000. D Digi... Digi... Suspension minus 3. When one of your Digimon digivolves, 
into the Enter this card from your hand. You may suspend one of your Digimon to reduce the memory cost of the Digi Evolution by three. Yeah, okay. So I, I, I gotta reread it in my own head to understand it fully. So when you're Digivolving this, you can suspend one of your Digimon, and this is now free. Right? Only your this one just falls into this card from your hand. Yeah, so you're going to get this guy for free in a, as a Disney World. It's a level five. Not bad. I can see why it's restricted to one. Because green is about getting big guys out and just beating your opponent. Um, now, it has an inherited effect, which means it does not gain the effect, but the Digimon, it evolves Digivolves into will gain the effect. And that effect is when attacking, you may pay one, you may play one level three green Digimon card from your hand, suspend, suspended without paying its memory cost. So just by attacking with this guy's Digivolve form, you're going to get a level three for free. Okay, that is very strong. And again, I can see why. Now, this one is from BT2. I did not play in BT2. So that's all the banned and restricted stuff. I'm okay with it. I don't like banned and restricted lists list because I don't like companies telling me how to play the game. Well, I mean, they do because they make the rules. But if they're making the cards... Then, I mean, you guys got to judge the power scale. But I'm okay. These these cards I'm fine with because I understand. I'm actually shocked that more cards were not put on the ban list. Because Digimon does have some extremely powerful Digimon that... Probably should be restricted to one. Um, now, I know you keyboard warriors are going to go down below and say, Zed, you forgot the next two. And I did. I did that on purpose. There are two more cards that are going to be restricted in April. I... I'm not too worried about those just yet. I will do an update to that when we're getting close because that has to do with BT8. We haven't even got BT7. Um, I will also link down below to the webpage that I'm looking at. But, yeah. So, like I said, guys, I'm a Digimon fan. I do like Digimon. I like Pokemon. You guys know me. I like a lot of things. Uh, I really do like this card game. I hope it stays around for a very long time. I got into the Digimon TCG back when uh, the original one came out. I do not have any of my cards. I wish I did. Um, just not for money-wise, but just because I want them. Uh I did not get into BT2, which is what I was saying earlier. Did not get BT3. I think I got BT1, BT1.5, 2, 3, I couldn't get a hold of. I think I may have got a couple boosters. It's been very hard in my area to get cards. There's been a card shortage for the Digimon game. So do be patient. Um, it seems like they're trying to fix that. I'm hoping it. they do. I would love to get into playing some more. I do have the newest starter decks, which I highly, highly recommend picking up. But now I'm rambling about Digimon. So, as always, guys, stay forever new, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.